my channel and happy Halloween! This week I am doing a makeup week just to give you some tips and ideas of what you might be for Halloween and this is video number three out of five. The look that I'm going for today is pretty girl bitten by a zombie. I am going to do half of my face like a normal just pretty makeup and on the other side I'm going to do like a big bite out of my face and I have actually never made like a bite mark thing so this will be very interesting at least for me I'm just gonna start with the normal side the foundation of today is actually a BB cream and it is from Maybelline New York dream pure BB cream and this is the color light this is what I use every day as you can see this is kind of empty I'm planning to do the bite like from around here so I'm putting foundation everywhere else and I'm also going in with some concealer underneath my eye and I'm just blending that out with my finger and then I'm putting some powder on this side of my face I'm then going to contour and highlight and put on some blusher on this side and for this I'm using Isadora Face Sculpture in the color uh, 02 Cool Pink. I'm starting off with the bronzer which you can see that I have used quite a bit during the summer. If I do like this uh, with my cheeks I get like a natural shade there and that is where I want to put my bronzer. Then using a different brush, I'm going to take the pink color, just on the apples on my cheeks. And then using the same brush, I'm going to take this highlighter and just take that on the top of my cheeks and underneath my brow bone. I don't know if you can see sort of the glittery effect. I'm going to fill out my crease with this color here. I had to look at if you found it to find it. But with this color, it's called Warm. Just it's a matte brown eyeshadow. And I'm just putting that in my crease. I'm then taking this light shimmery pink all over my lid. I'm then taking this kind of vibrant pink just to get like a really girly pink eye makeup. I'm then going back to the pink color, the light shimmery pink, and I'm putting that in my teared up area and underneath my eye. In the outer corner of my eye, using the same brush, I'm going back with a dark like um, brownie color underneath my eye. I'm then taking a felt tip liquid liner. This is from Maybelline New York, the masterpiece liquid eyeliner. And I'm just going to do a normal cat flick sort of eye. I need to do a eyeliner because I'm going to apply a false lash on this eye. So I need something to cover that. Then applying some mascara. Before I put on a false eyelash on this eye, I want the mascara to dry, so I'm going to do my eyebrow meanwhile. Okay, so it's time for my little lash to go on. I'm just going to put some glue on it. When I have applied the glue, I want it to dry for like 30 seconds before I apply it, so it gets all sticky. I then need to have my little pocket mirror and I'm going to just apply it and that is the eyes complete now I'm just going to put some pink lipstick on my lips and then I'm going to start with the zombie okay so now for the zombie part the part that I have never done before what I'm using for this part is some like facial glue or spirit gum as it says on the pack hydromastics washable spirit gum so this is what you use when you have prosthetics and stuff that you want to glue to your face maybe if you are going to be a hobbit or something and you want the hobbit ears you use this glue because you can have it on your skin 
Uh, and I also have some cotton wool. These I'm just going to use to make some kind of 3D effect. I'm going to start by applying some glue on my face, starting on my cheeks. And while it's still wet, I'm going to take some cotton wool and I'm going to glue it to my face. My end goal here is to like have a hand who has dragged itself up, so that's why I'm going on stripey things up. <laughs> and don't worry, I'm not going to be like a cotton wool monster, I'm just gonna let this sit here until it dries and then I'm going to peel away the excess cotton wool. Then when I'm satisfied with the amount I'm going to take some glue all around it just to not make it so fluffy. And then before you start adding any colors this really needs to set so just Sit back and relax for 10 minutes or something. This is now dry, so I'm going to start painting this. First I'm just going in with some black eyeshadow. And this I'm putting just as a base in between, so not on the cotton wool, just in between. This is to create depth in my face. I'm then going to take some dark plum red-ish lipstick and I'm just using a brush and I'm just dotting this around the white parts. Just tiny little dots, not like full-on lines, just dots. I'm then taking one of these and I'm just going to drag the dots away from where I put them. I'm then taking a brush and some purple, and this is kind of a purple greyish color, and I'm just going to put that also around. And this one I'm also taking slightly over the cotton wool pieces. I then put some foundation on the back of my hand, and with just a little small brush, I'm going to dab this on on top of the cotton wool. And quite all around this. I'm then taking some vibrant red lipstick and I'm going in and just dotting it around. I've then actually taken some watercolor and I have mixed together some different reds to create like a blood red. My wound is almost complete, as you can see. I'm just going to finish it off using some black eyeshadow. Now I'm just trying to make an effect of makeup who has been destroyed. So I'm just dotting black around my eye very, very poorly, just as I have like destroyed it completely. And also, I'm going to destroy the lipstick on this side, so I'm just gonna... And actually, to finish this eye off, I'm going to put some mascara on my eye. Just on the 
top. And there we go! This is the look complete. I have the perfect side and the zombie side. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you recreate this, please send me a photo, maybe on Twitter. You can also tag me in a photo on Instagram if you recreate this. I'm just going to zoom in a bit so you can see really how everything looks. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time!